So, just got back to the woods. And it has been too long. First order of business, get my tent up. Second order of business, chill. You guys want to see my food stash? Clementines. Got a pomegranate. Another grapefruit. An avocado. Two little brown bananas. Uh, what do they call these? Lady something? Apple? Lemon. Some beans. Tamarinds. Mangoes. Those are Francis mangoes from Haiti. Enlightened mix. Some almonds down there, some dried fruit. Medjool dates. I think I have some baby tomatoes in there and some more baby tomatoes in this thing. And the last of my blackberries. And then the kicker. Trying to decide what I'm gonna do today. I guess I'll go down to the field. <laughs> Chill, dude. I love shooting bugs when they're burying their face in flowers. It's all about that. Alright. Let's go find Big Daddy Mushroom. Let's see if it's still there. Look at that thing! Ba -bum. And the one that fell off? It's still there! So sick. Anybody home? What on earth kind of fungi? What the? Let's check on the field. Let's see if the ferns took back over. It actually looks pretty clear. Cool. Ooh. What are these? Haven't seen those yet. So you can see the ferns are getting ready to take back over. Oh, 
knocked over. Kind of ovular with two toes, two hooves. It's definitely a line there. Fear not. Jump. This was the garden bed I set up when I tried to plant some radishes. This is bone that I found. Yeah. I think next time I need to cover the soil with um, some mulch so it doesn't dry out. This is like too exposed. This is bad. We're going to be putting up with some gnarly sun like today. See the seeds are in like these pockets where they're not even like getting wet. If you're watching this <coughs> and you're thinking, man, I want to try one of those. Well, I highly recommend it. Go find yourself one. So I also have these old seeds. See? Old seeds. <laughs> Just kidding, they're actually old. They're um beans. String beans. spider beans site number one and site number two kind of put a little stick barrier around them as a marker but also as a you know preventative measure for the other species that might be trying to pop up around it and block its sun and steal its water. Like this guy. Sorry, buddy. I'm being super destructive today. I think these are old, dead uh, puffballs. There's the spores. Thought I was done playing in the dirt, but I forgot about these potatoes. They were like old potatoes in a batch. There's eight of them. Got them for a buck. Let's see what becomes of them. As you can see, they sprouted. Let's just get some of these roots out of this thing.
All right, that's just about it. I think I'll fully cover them because I, if I remember correctly, they they'll still bust through. It's just kind of how potatoes do it. Other than that, get outside and enjoy nature. Oh boy, rocky stuff. Look at that deer up there. <laughs> just a quick overnight. Kind of just proving to myself that I can jet up here and have some fun and get back the next day if I want to. It's a lot of driving, but it's enjoyable. Lots of little dilapidated shacks and stuff around here. <laughs>